agreed with Newton, he simply made everything that Newton said far more accurate. It's as simple as that. And again, you cannot cherry pick which one of Newton's laws you are going to agree with. It's the fallacy of stolen concept. If you agree with I'm one, sorry, you, uh, if you agree with one, one, you agree with all of them. And I'm not said I've not agreed with them. But so you agree with you agree I'm... with Newton's law of gravitational attraction then? No, I'm on a Well, then you're cherry picking. Then, then you are cherry picking. Then you are cherry picking. If you I'm agree, sorry, if, if you it. agree, if you agree with Newton's first and second laws, you also agree with Newton's law of universal gravitational attraction. So if you do not do that, oh, so you I'm are cherry picking. First and second law is gravitational acceleration. Yes, is gravitational attraction. Yes. No, it's, it's I, I said that law. Newton's law of That's gravitational. That's what you're saying right now, isn't it? No, I'm saying that Newton's law of gravitational attraction is one of Newton's laws, and you cannot have Which is one not his of Newton's first, second, and third law, right? No, it's a different law. It's the law and of I'm universal gravitational about his first attraction. And second law. Which were made by Newton, and Newton also came up with the law of universal gravitational attraction. If you agree with one of Newton's laws, you agree with all of them, or you are cherry picking. Do you agree with all of Newton's laws? Yes or no? No. Right, well, the then, you, then, then you are cherry picking and committing the fallacy of stolen concept. You are choosing no, which you're the bits one that's doing of, you that. are choosing which bits of Newton's maths you want to to back up. No, your, that's your, what your, you're no, doing. No, I'm not because I go with all of it because it all works okay. together, right? It all works Let's together. Break it Newton, down. Let's Newton, break it down. Came, uh, wait, wait. Newton came up with all of the laws, and all of the laws work together. You either believe uh, and you either agree with one and all of them, or you agree with none of them. What you are doing yes. is cherry picking which one of Newton's laws you want to believe in so that it can back up your fucking nonsense. Whereas I follow all of Newton's laws and none of them contradict each other. Okay, you follow all of Newton's laws. So what is yeah. Newton's first and second law? That an acceleration is caused by a force. Sorry, I'm not Wait, uh, Newton's a first force. law Therefore, is that an acceleration is caused by a force. D is, is that really what it yes, is? Yes, his first and second law says so that in order to change direction, or in order to change speed, or in order to yeah, accelerate, um, in order so to move, Newton's in, first in law, order to stop, uh, you need okay, a force. I'll tell you what, um, could you cite me, could you quote me specifically Newton's first law? I just did. No, you didn't. You just made up a straw man of the Newton's first law. No, I didn't. Newton's first law tells you that if you... If you, basically, without a force... No, I don't, want basically, I don't want basically what it tells you. I want you to quote me Newton's first law. And I'm trying to tell you, but again... No, 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 specifically the words that Newton used. Not your interpretation, not what it says. What specifically is Newton's first law? That if a body is not rest or moving at a constant speed in a straight line, it will stay at rest or keep moving in a straight line at a constant speed unless acted upon by a force, which you Correct. don't have with Einstein. Correct, yeah. exactly. Yep, yeah, Einstein gives you the acceleration, that's fine. You just debunked yourself. No, I really didn't. Einstein gives you the acceleration. Acceleration and mass equals force. And if you have a force, you can have something again, acted again. upon. I'll, but, I'll uh, 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 again. Uh, 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 I'm talking. If you have an acceleration and you have a mass, therefore you have a force. And according to Newton's first law, Newton's first law states if a body is at rest or moving at a constant speed in a straight line, it will remain at rest or keep moving in a straight line at constant speed unless it is acted upon by a force. Mass times acceleration. E a mass times acceleration equals a force. There is your force yes. acting upon it. Boom. Done. No, you not understanding no, that no, doesn't no, change things. No, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. yes, 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 yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Newton's yes. first law Newton's says, first law says, says yes. constant speed, uh -huh. yes, unless yep. acted upon by a force. And how Sorry, do you get a force? You have mass times force. acceleration. Force equals mass times acceleration. Mass times acceleration equals a force. Therefore, you have a force that can act upon something moving in a straight line no, at constant no, speed. No, 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 yes, no. Yes, 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 yes. Just because you're too fucking thick to understand doesn't change it. Again, you're not understanding. Uh, says, says the Dunning-Kruger will... queen of the world See, who doesn't funny, understand that F equals MA. Nobody's saying F doesn't equal MA. What you are, are saying you is... are apparently. But, you're no. saying I don't have a force you're even mean, though I have a mass and acceleration. You're interrupting me again. Uh, you are saying... You can't let me I... finish because you know you're wrong. You are saying that F does not equal as uh, does not equal M... Uh...
But in general relativity, there is no gravity force. So Newton's second law no longer makes sense. That's where curvature comes in. And by far, the biggest curvature for the squirrel is time curvature. The squirrel doesn't fall because there's a force. It falls simply because its future is on the ground.